She is known for her noteworthy contributions to analysis, partial differential equations, and mechanics. She is recognized for being a pioneer for women in mathematics, obtaining the first doctorate in mathematics as a woman, and becoming the first woman appointed to a full professorship in Northern Europe. Her name is Sofia Kovalovskia. In the realm of mathematics, one name stands out as a true trailblazer, Sofia Vasilyevna Kovalovskia. Born as Sofia Korvin Krakowskia, she was a Russian mathematician who made remarkable contributions to the fields of analysis, partial differential equations, and mechanics. Her impact on the world of mathematics, especially for women, cannot be overstated. In fact, she holds several groundbreaking titles in the field. Kovalovskia was the first woman to obtain a doctorate in mathematics, the first woman appointed to a full professorship in Northern Europe, and one of the first women to work for a scientific journal as an editor. According to esteemed historian of science, and Hibner Koblitz, Kovalovskia was known as, the greatest woman scientist before the 20th century. Her accomplishments were truly exceptional, and she paved the way for countless women in the field of mathematics. As a socialist, she also shared a deep bond with her sister, and Jacklard, who was actively involved in socialist movements. Kovalovskia herself used the name Sophie Kowalewski in her academic publications, and her work continues to inspire and influence mathematicians to this day. Sofia Kovalovskia's legacy is a testament to the power of determination and the boundless potential of women in the field of mathematics. She shattered glass ceilings and opened doors for future generations of female mathematicians. Her name will forever be remembered as one of the greatest pioneers in the history of mathematics. In April 1869, Sofia and Vladimir arrived in Heidelberg after a short stay in Vienna. Despite facing challenges, Sofia managed to gain permission to attend classes at the University of Heidelberg. She audited courses in physics and mathematics, learning from esteemed professors like Hermann von Helmholtz, Gustav Kirchhoff, and Robert Bunsen. Meanwhile, Vladimir pursued a doctorate in paleontology at the University of Jena. In October 1869, Sofia and Vladimir visited London together. While Vladimir spent time with colleagues like Thomas Huxley and Charles Darwin, Sophia was invited to George Eliot's Sunday salons. There, at the age of 19, she engaged in a debate on woman's capacity for abstract thought with Herbert Spencer. Although the details of their conversation are unknown, it is possible that Sophia mentioned the Euler equations she had learned in her mechanics course in Heidelberg. This discussion took place before Sophia made her notable contribution to the study of integrable rigid body motion. In October 1870, Sophia moved to Berlin, where she faced restrictions on attending university classes. However, she began taking private lessons with Karl Weierstrass, who was highly impressed with her mathematical skills. Over the next three years, Weierstrass taught Sophia the same material covered in his university lectures. In 1871, Sophia traveled briefly to Paris with Vladimir to assist in the Paris Commune. She attended to the injured while her sister Eniuta actively participated in the Commune. However, with the fall of the commune, Eni Yuta and her partner Victor Jackler were arrested. Through the help of their father, General Krakowski, Sofia and Eni Yuta managed to save Victor from execution. After returning to Berlin, Sofia continued her studies with Weierstrass for three more years. In 1874, she presented three papers as her doctoral dissertation, earning a doctorate in mathematics summa cum laude. Her paper on partial differential equations introduced the cauchy kovalovsky theorem, proving the existence and analyticity of local solutions to such equations under specific conditions. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.